What's up guys, Marcus here, and today I'm going to be reviewing The Lighthouse, that was written by Robert and Max Eggers and directed by Robert Eggers. It stars Robert Pattinson, Willem Dafoe, and Valeria Karaman. It's the story of two lighthouse keepers isolated in an island on the 1890s trying to keep their sanity, and it's a masterpiece. Uh, almost the entirety of the movie has only two actors, Valeria Karaman is in like five minutes of the movie, the rest is just Willem Dafoe and Robert Pattinson. Willem Dafoe gives an outstanding performance and the latter deserves to win Best Actor at the Oscars, even though Joaquin Phoenix gave one of the best performances I've ever seen this year. Robert Pattinson was even better than Joaquin Phoenix. And to be honest, Willem Dafoe should win Best Supporting Actor as well, but Brad Pitt in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood is also very good. The Lighthouse is in a 1.19 by 1 aspect ratio and it's on black and white. It's a very stylized movie with the best directing I've seen this year. They use the lighting and the fact that it is black and white to their advantage. We have some breathtaking frames, for example, there is this shot that's just Robert Pattinson's eye through a crack of, on the ceiling of the house, and everything else is black, so it looks like the camera is only filming his eye. That sort of thing happens more than once and it's amazing to see. The lighting is always used wonderfully and it makes for one of the best visual experiences ever. Like I said, it's the story of two lighthouse keepers losing their sanity. So the movie gets crazier and crazier the longer it goes on. And to convey that, the directing, the environment around them and the score, which is extraordinary throughout the entire movie, all get crazier with the characters. Also, a lot of what we see in the movie isn't faked because some of it was shot in Nova Scotia. So the environment and the crazy weather are all real. The production design is so great that you can't even tell what's real and what's not. It's a psychological horror and a comedy at the same time. And it excels in both of them, but never fails to be consistent in tone. Which just shows how well-crafted the movie was. For example, since the movie is set in the 1890s, they researched historic ledgers and journals from real lighthouse keepers to create the dialogue. Which is nothing less than incredible. And it's a very unique way the characters talk. Even with subtitles, it's hard to understand what they say sometimes, so I recommend you watch it with subtitles. Also, this story is some sort of a retelling of the myth of Prometheus. But instead of having Zeus, like in the original myth, we have Poseidon in his place. And we have Willem Dafoe's character as Proteus, Robert Pattinson as Prometheus. And, you know, after I watched the movie, I spent a lot of time trying to see what it all meant. And having these connections to Greek mythology made it even more interesting. And this is... Easily the best movie of the year, in my opinion. You should definitely check it out. I gave it a 10 out of 10, of course. It's even better than Parasite, which I really loved. So, yeah, you should check it out. You know, it's great that A24 continues to make these different artistic, experimental indie movies. Giving the opportunity to independent filmmakers, because it gives us more movies that don't follow the same Hollywood formula, like Ford v Ferrari, for example. Which I liked, but sometimes it gets overdone. So heavy movies, this original can only be good to the industry. Especially if it gets the attention it rightfully deserves. So yeah, please watch The Lighthouse. <laughs> you won't be disappointed at all. Also, this is most likely going to be released on December 31st. So yeah, Happy New Year for everyone. I uh, hope you had a fantastic 2019. I hope you have a, an even better 2020. So... Yeah, thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed please have a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, if you want to leave recommendations of movies for me to watch uh, and review, just put them in the description, yeah, description of the comments, such a dumbass, <laughs> either way, um, I'm gonna try and work on a Legion video to be released on January, uh, it'll be like the Daredevil video, better, hopefully. <laughs> And yeah, also after that I'll be working on a video about Mandy, which I made a quick review on, but I want to make a more in-depth review. So yeah, happy new years for everyone, like, subscribe, comment, any recommendations, and yeah, see you next time guys, bye bye.